Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a Christmas Poundland haul. I ended up going there this afternoon kind of spontaneously and picked up far too much stuff. I almost stopped myself from going in because I thought I'm going to end up overspending. I know I will because I've not been in in ages and yeah, I did. I think I spent like £35. But let me show you what I got because I managed to get some really good stuff. But the first thing I got was these fill your own baubles. Like just glass christmas baubles not glass plastic and there's three of them for a pound and the reason i got these was because i thought and i don't know if this is going to work out or not i thought it might be quite nice to have like one of my scan photos in a bauble on the christmas tree and the way i pictured it in my head i realized now it isn't going to work because it's not going to be the right shape and it's not going to be straight <laughs> but i'm sure i can make something work there's quite a lot of like christmas crafty things in Poundland, so maybe I'll think of something to do with this. Three for a pound, that's pretty good, I think. The next thing is actually probably my favourite purchase, and I bought two of these, I'm sure. Might be missing something, but there's like a pair of shoelaces in here. Am I missing something? I don't know. So the next thing is this little gift box. So they have loads and loads of gift boxes. This one, I thought, first of all, it's that lovely duck egg colour, which I absolutely love. Um, it's really nice. It doesn't look tacky or, or tacky or cheap. Oh, there's a wee cat on the fence. There's a couple of people that we get things like um, bath bombs and pampery kind of things. And I thought that would be really nice to put in a little box like this and fill it with like some lush bath bombs and a few little nice soaps and stuff. So it'll be easier to wrap when it's like that as well. And it's also, it's not got any Christmas writing on it. So it would be good for, I'm going to move this slightly, hang on. Yeah, it's not got any Christmas writing on it. So it means that they can use it all year round for storage picked up quite a few like stocking fillery things so I got a big packet of white Toblerone. I really hope that these make it to be a present for someone because I have a horrible habit of like keeping presents that I buy for people but I thought it'd be a good wee stocking filler. Oh yeah this is the thing I was going to show you. So I also got some hamper shred which is like it kind of looks a bit like a scourer. It's like kind of green and silver thread but the reason I got this I'm sure I actually got two packets was for this little box so I thought I'm going to fill that with bath bombs yeah that'll be a nice little gift idea and another one also picked up some foil ribbon gold silver copper and like a darker grey kind of colour boring stuff out of the way I got two packets of pampers whites I always get them from Poundland I love them and then from the like Christmas crafty bit for kids I got <laughs> This little colouring pad. So Oliver's not colouring in yet. He's not even. He's barely drawing. But I thought it'd be a nice little thing to have anyway, so that he can scribble all over it. And it was only a pound. Um, and it's quite cute with the wee googly eyes. That might be something that I could put in a Christmas Eve box for him. Maybe I'm still working on that. I'm going to do a video and show you everything that I get for Oliver's Christmas Eve box. I picked up some pine cones because I'm going to be doing a Christmas Eve box DIY for Oliver this year using the Ikea like crate box. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet. Don't know if these will even be involved, but for a pound I thought we'll use these for something. They could even be like nice decorations to put on the tree or to put in amongst decorations in the house. Like you can always find a use for pine cones. I got a packet of coloured pencils for Oliver because the crayons, crayons that I got from Poundland last time were awful. Like they literally they didn't, they barely put any colour on the paper. They were so bad. He was better with pencils because he was using pencils the other night when we were out for dinner and he was a lot better with them than the crayons. So I'm hoping that they'll be a better option for him. I got these little crafty things. They're called sentiment toppers, which I'm not sure what a sentiment topper would be used for. But they're just like little snowflakes that say Merry Christmas on it. I still haven't decided how I'm going to do his Christmas Eve box. I thought I'll have a few little options there and they might be quite nice if I do like a minimal kind of design. I picked up an elf on the shelf because I have no idea where our one from last year was. I think I might try and do it this year. Don't know if it'll be the novel will be completely lost on Oliver but let me know if any of you started doing elf on the shelf what age you did it from. Oliver will be two years and like two months so I don't know if it'll, he'll appreciate it but I might give it a go just like for my own entertainment and then I also got some paper straws because I'm trying to get Oliver out of using his like sippy cup thing and he's been using a cup with a straw and sometimes just drinking from the cup so I thought I'll get a little packet of these they are paper straws and not plastic ones I know that they're doing away with them now um, and you get 24 
and they're actually quite nice designs so they'd be nice for like a wee party or something. I also picked up this soap bag again it's in that nice duck egg blue colour. The reason I got that is for a little stocking filler for Andy because I thought I could put some nice products in it and he could do with a new soap bag and it actually doesn't look like a wee cheap pound blend one. Once this is all filled out with um, products then I think that'll be quite nice. It just needs to kind of uncrease a little bit. Okay, does anyone else feel like Christmas isn't Christmas without a chocolate orange? This is the one thing that my gran always used to get for me and my sister and my brother. Yeah, my gran stayed in Mull, so she stayed in like a wee island which is quite far away. She didn't always make it down for Christmas, but she always used to send us a chocolate orange. Or now I think about it, it's probably my mum just bought us all the chocolate orange from my gran. I bought two of them and I'm not going to lie, I've almost finished one and it's so bad because it's only been a few hours but they're so addictive. The next thing is another box. Like, this year we are doing a secret Santa kind of thing in my family and I'll talk about that more in another video. I feel like I'm giving away all my content for the next like two weeks. I've got my mum and dad and um, I hope my mum's not watching this. Mum, if you're watching this, turn it off. For my mum and dad, because I'm getting like some presents for my dad and some for my mum, um, I thought I'll get them one of these boxes. So this is like a big, like A4 size box. These are two pounds, but they've got quite a few different designs in them. And because I'm getting like bits and bobs, I thought it'll be easier to fill a nice box and maybe put some like of that hay straw stuff. Not hay. <laughs> so it's like a little box of gifts. Because I've already got my dad a wallet and... There's a few other ideas that I was going to get, but they're all quite small things. So if I put them all in this big box and wrap it up, it'll be a nice wee present. Oh my god, it's so much stuff. I picked up another Astonish Oxy Active Fabric Stain Remover. I've been using this a lot recently. I'm still not sure whether it's making a big difference to my washing. This is a Mrs Hinge recommendation and I've just been putting a scoop in with the washing. So I also picked up a five pack of toothbrushes because I feel like this is like a kind of good adult mum thing to have in your house. Like my mum always had spare toothbrushes and Oliver's got a habit of going into the cupboards in our bathroom and he puts a lot of like, he just, sometimes things go missing or they become un unusable after Oliver's been in our bathroom. I thought I'll get a little supply of toothbrushes. So that was five toothbrushes for a pound. Probably not the best quality, but always good to have as a backup. I got some artificial snow. I don't know what I'm going to use it for but I know I'll use it for something. It might be to do with the elf on the shelf. It might be to do with the Christmas box. There was another idea I had. What was it? Can't remember but I'm sure I'll find something to do with artificial snow. Um, oh, these were another thing. and Little bows which I thought I might use on the Christmas Eve box. If not, I'll find some kind of use for them but they're really nice little um, rustic kind of crafty things. As a stocking filler for Oliver, I got some little bath toys they're little farm animals the only thing is they have that thing where they've got a hole on them which means they're going to get moldy inside but they feel quite cheap i'm not gonna lie they're just cheap plastic they're not soft just a wee novelty item but for a pound you can't complain so next up is a thing that is like my strongest pregnancy craving so far and it is redox bubble bath oh my god this one first of all redox muscle soak it's sage and sea minerals I cannot explain how good this smells. They're all like, um, they've got a bit of essential oils in them and I just wanted to say in case anyone comments this, um, that I did check because this one has sage in it and they say not to use um, like clary sage essential oils and there's other oils that you can use. I'm sure lavender's one of them as well. Um, but they say not to use that in pregnancy because it can, the, like there's the smallest chance that it can cause contractions but this one has the tiniest amount of sage in it but it's so so heavily diluted in this massive bottle and then obviously it's massively diluted in your bath it's nowhere near the same as putting pure essential oils in your bath so it's absolutely fine you can google it and it says it's safe in pregnancy it's just like one of those rumors and there was a facebook post that went viral where people were saying you can't use this it'll give you contractions and that's not the case so yeah i've checked it and it's absolutely fine <laughs> this stuff is my absolute favorite this is a pound right this one is sage and minerals this one is lavender and water lily see for something like this it honestly makes me feel like i'm in a spa and i crave a bath so that i can use this and i love a big bubble bath and see to think this is a pound and that huge bottle lasts for ages compared with a lush bath bomb which is like six pounds for one bath and it means you have to pure scrub the bath after because it's so dirty like glitter everywhere and all the colouring and stuff 
So I'm completely a Redox. I'm a, I'm a cheap date when it comes to baths now. I'm all about Redox. I'm more than Lush bath bombs. I do love a, ga a galactic bath bomb. I think it makes your hair feel amazing, but still can't beat a Redox bath. Maybe it's a pregnancy thing, but I urge you to go and get the Muscle Soak Sage and Minerals. Oh my god, it's so good. More nice smelling thing. I've got the Zeflora Lavender to try because I've never tried that and loads of people say it's really good. I don't know if I'd want that all over my whole house. Like, do I really want my whole house to smell like lavender? I don't know, but I'm sure it'll be nice. I feel like lavender is possibly something that you should use like in your bedroom and make it a nice sleepy environment, but I'll try it all over. Um, funnily enough, I've also bought the Febreze Lavender Spray. Me and my sister were talking about how um, everyone's using fabric softener with water and spraying it on their couches and I'm completely, I've given into the craze, I'm also doing it a lot. But obviously the first people that got there that did the whole like nice smelling fabric freshener things was Febreze. Febreze were the originals so I went back to the original and got Febreze fabric spray and this one is lavender. It kind of smells a bit fabric softener -y. It's actually, it's with Lenore so I suppose it's the same thing and you're just making your own concoction when you're mixing fabric softener with water but so that is everything. I just realised how tired I look in this viewfinder. I had a really long night with Oliver. He's not been well and neither have I so that is why. But yeah, anyway I really hope you enjoyed watching this Poundland haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Goodbye! <laughs>